As the interactive session progresses, concerns are also raised about the delays experienced before drawdown, as well as other issues. The business of oil and gas is not a manufacturing business that carries time and time and time and time. Oil and gas business deserve urgency, time, and target. Before I came to know part of industry as it affects this discussion we are having here today, I've been in the commercial bank for you know certain period of years. And from when I took my engagement with this process, it's more than enough time to commence transaction and end a transaction. And then inflows start coming in. Now have applied. My target is within maybe 60 days to start making return. Up to this moment, I'm standing here talking. I'm so disturbed. The process has so collapsed my company's target. Because where we are coming from with commercial banks, in fact, if we were faced a lot of, you know, if I stress, stress, conditional stress, you know, to obtain their loan and make equally make repayment. So when we compare notes, this BOI and Nigerian content engagement is far and far better. Far and far better. Now, oil and gas does not deserve a special of this long term, all this long discussion process. <laughs> as soon as we meet the requirement expected by Nigerian content and the BOI, then the next thing is to see, uh, you know, uh, you know, start moving on. But that is now we have completed all the processes and yet we have not gotten a conclusion. Still coming back to this BG, um, because I don't know, I'm waiting to really see if we've landed in terms of the path to conclusion as to how the rest of us who are yet to benefit, who have applied, um, when we reach this hurdle, how we would, we would actually see the outcome of it. I haven't really heard much as to clearly this is what we're going to do. We know what the banks are itching for. They want more participation on an, an annual basis as opposed to a one-off fee as it currently provides for us. It's not really about the percentage of the one-off fee. It's more of the, we're taking the risk for five years, you know, and we're not participating every year. So, whereas I'm not, I'm not a banker, I'm not a finance person, I will not be telling you this is what you should negotiate with the banks. I'm asking, is there going to be a timeline as to when you could possibly be landing a clear position with the banks that is favorable to both the banks? as well as BOIs. The BOI and NCDMB leaders also addressed the issue of having external directors in the management of beneficiary companies, as well as other concerns. The issue of the board of observer and board member, for us really at BOI, you know, we can be a bit flexible because the idea is to help, you know. So if you already have an offer that says you have to have a board member, in fact, we don't even have enough staff to put none of these companies because apart from the ones that we are doing for oil and gas, we have so many other companies. Uh, start. We, we need, because if they are on your board, you have to go for AGMs. If you fly around the whole place, for us also it's very disruptive. We have found out over time that sometimes companies that don't do well, it's not because uh, the guys want to be fraudulent. Sometimes they, don't, they, they lack capacity. So when we give you somebody from the bank who is more experienced, you are actually getting somebody that maybe your company might not be able to afford because they are so small companies, who will be able to offer advice to those companies, you know, at a free cost to you. So we have somebody that is here in the bank who can advise when you are about to take a wrong decision because the guy is more experienced and you are not paying for it. So we are actually helping with capacity, you know, development in your company. So some of you might need them. So when you say, let us just throw it off, it, it pays us, you have to look at the other side. There was a reason it was put in place. Now, Nigerian companies, you know, you're asking, uh, we don't finance Nigerian companies. That is not true. But the truth is that if you're going to finance a Nigerian company, we have to analyze them also. Because some of the companies that you're talking about also are in distress. 
So there's no point you saying you have a Nigerian company, it's Nigerian local content, you must finance it. When the person we are financing cannot actually pay. It's like you come here and say you want to buy a vessel for a company that is already indebted up to their neck, who cannot service what they are owing the banks, and you are taking money to because there's a Nigerian company. So yes, we finance Nigerian companies, but if they are giving you contracts, we have to analyze that company that they can pay. IOCs are bigger and faster because we know their size. We were able to get approval uh, from the presidency on import duty waivers for modular refinery. In fact, it's been gazetted as a matter of fact. So those who are involved in modular refineries know that they can get some of those equipment for the refinery, especially the ones we don't, we can't fabricate or manufacture in country. Uh, so we worked with the Ministry of Petroleum Resources to get that uh, waiver. So I'm sure they are enjoying uh, that opportunity. Despite the tough engagements, there were also occasions for some comic relief. Because we support modular refineries in the country, uh, people just walk into my office and say, they want to build one, they need $1.7 billion to build three modular refineries. I mean, what do you do? Uh, do you give him the money? Yes. <laughs> Besides the back and forth about the issue of bank guarantees and other attendant issues, there are still those whom the Nigerian Content Intervention Fund, managed by the Bank of Industry, has put smiles on their faces. I bought the vessel. I'm expecting you to come and commission me. So I'm here to tell everybody here that it is possible. Because as I'm talking to you, I have 1.4 million dollars hanging in a shipyard in Vietnam that the bank refused to give me assistance for over three years. So the banks will tell you all these stories we have had, we've all heard about it. I'm telling you, BOI facilities and SDO is a magic. It's something that the banks are always covering up. How about all the interests? How about all the facilities? How about all the charges they've been taking from us? There is no way you pass through $4 billion that the bank will not make so much money. Let them also, I, mean, I wish the MDs of these banks are also here part of this discussion. So that we can all get one particular thing all together. They shift the blame to us. They move all the this into us. Everybody that works in IOCs has his own money to beside. They should also shift a little bit so that we all can come together and make this economy move forward. Finally, the resolutions were made, which gave all parties renewed hope that there would be more mutually rewarding activities in accessing the Nigerian Content Intervention Fund. We agreed here that we should look at other means of uh, guarantees if insurance bonds uh, could be considered uh, by BOI, and BOI is committed to looking at insurance bond from reputable insurance companies that can meet the capital. Uh, so for those qualifying insurance companies, they are prepared to look at insurance bond. Um, standardization of bank guarantee requirement from commercial banks. We have agreed that BOI will look at all the commercial banks that they deal with and look at what are their requirements to issue the bank guarantee and harmonize that with their own requirements such that any applicant who comes through the door and says my bank is bank X, they can hand that document to avoid uh, double jeopardy of uh, going back and forth. Um, we also agreed that uh, both BOI, particularly BOI, uh, will try to see if there are existing tax waivers for potential beneficiaries uh, of uh, the scheme. Uh, they will try to engage FIROS to see if it does exist. And if it does, they should try and ensure that they get it for applicants. Um, BOI also accepts other forms of collateral acceptable to it and listed on the product futures outside of BG. If you have collaterals that are not pledged already, uh, that are not encumbered, 
uh, they might they will take uh, such collateral so long as they are not incumbent uh, they will not ask you to go and get uh, bank guarantees the bank of industry always leverages every opportunity and partnership to ensure that it's increasingly easier for businesses in Nigeria to thrive, regardless of whatever subsector they play in. The NCI fund is one out of many. Now, it's good to know that the Bank of Industry supports businesses that engage in manufacturing and processing activities, either in agro-processing, solid minerals, information technology, oil and gas, and the creative industry, just to name a few. Make a move today and let the Bank of Industry support you. Visit any of their offices closest to you or log on to their website at boi.ng. You can also apply for BOI loans online. Simply download the BOI SME loan app from the Google Play Store and follow the instructions. Feel free to tweet at me at KAY Alliance for further inquiries. You can watch previous editions of the program on youtube.com by typing BOI Weekly in the search area. And that's our show for today. Many thanks for watching. I'm Kaede Alayade. Bye now.